welcome to Selu's channel. My name is Samke Makwaza. I am a third year medical student at Vets University. Um, I've been asked by Selu to actually share my journey, how I got into medicine from my previous degree. And so thank you so much Selu for inviting me into your channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, so my journey is quite long guys but I'll try and be short and just summarize what I think is important. So uh, GAMP is a graduate entry medical program that allows graduates to start in third year of medicine. So you need to have a certain degree for you to start in third year. So I couldn't get in into medicine from high school uh because of my metric results they were like not good at all <laughs> so i'm saying this because there are few people that i know that did like very well in high school but they still got rejected by universities to do medicine yeah i guess it's because there are like two limited spaces for medical students um in universities especially in south africa so it's quite very difficult you need to like really do well in metric so um but if you got rejected and you couldn't get in from high school they still hope you can still do camp <laughs> so um like i said camp allows you to start in third year but you need to have a certain degree so the degree that i did was uh, nursing I did Bachelor of Nursing in degree at Vets a few years back with the hope of still getting into medicine. And yeah, but um, when I was doing my fourth year of nursing, uh, I had uh, quite a few problems. Um, like my life was just upside down. Like I couldn't continue with my academic life like I planned to. So I was kind of forced by my situation, by my circumstances to just work with what I had at that time. Uh, yeah, my life was just unstable uh, in such a way that at some point I found myself homeless in Joburg. Uh I had to go and live with my aunt. Yeah, so that's how bad it was. And yeah, it was like I had to just try and forget about medicine. Um, yeah, I was discouraged. I was like, okay, maybe this is it. Maybe I was not meant to do medicine. Uh, let me just continue with what I have. So I continued. I worked as a nurse. Uh, but you know that desire of medicine that dream of becoming a doctor did not really go away i couldn't forget about it because that's what i wanted from high school so um while i was a nurse i enrolled at uj to do extra qualifications in nursing because i thought i'm normal going to do medicine so I did nursing in administration, in education, and in occupational health. So I did that from 2017 um, until last year, 2019. So it was a three-year course degree as well. So those are just extra qualifications in nursing if you want to work outside uh, the hospital setting. So I did that because I was like, I'm no more going to do medicine. <laughs> so, but when I was doing that, uh, you know, I, I questioned myself, like, why am I doing something that I know I didn't want from the first place? And I really, it was a really a hard decision for me to take. Uh, I talked to my parents about it. I talked to my close friends about it and like everybody was like if you don't want to do what you're doing right now then just go and do medicine and just try just go back and do your medicine because like my life was kind of stable at that time 
so I was like, because I'm already half through with what I was doing at, the U at UJ, let me just finish. So I finished that last year. So while I was doing that uh, last year, I applied for camp. So I applied in March. Uh, so applications open in March and close in June every year for health sciences. And it was my first application. It was rejected. And I was quite surprised uh, why. Because I thought I had all the prerequisites that are needed. So I sent an email, you know, asking why am I rejected and like nobody knew why. <laughs> and I was promised that they would relook at my application and I guess they did that because four, three days um, later, I got an email that, okay, they will still con continue to consider my application and I'm invited to come and write what. So guys, if maybe you get rejected, um, just inquire why you're getting rejected and yeah, you might get a good information like where you're supposed to improve, what else you need to do. So don't just give up or maybe you can find that it was just human error like in my case. So... Um, I was invited to come and write web so what it's a kind of a selection test because if you pass it they still continue to consider application but it doesn't mean that you are in already so uh, they send you the objectives that will help you to prepare for the test so the test has have three papers uh, it's anatomy physiology and molecular medicine so you need to pass all those three papers for you to pass the overall test and so preparing for what i started with uh, anatomy and physiology so i used to study according to systems i will start with maybe cardiovascular system do the anatomy of that as well as physiology and then move to the next uh, system so that's how I used to study those two so I studied anatomy and physiology together like if you may put it like that so um, so I, I had a background of anatomy and physiology so with nursing at vets you do uh, physics and chemistry in first year and I know those are subjects that are a requirement for you to get into camp you need to have those at the university level and so i had that and you also yeah yeah and then english 60 percent and above all right so i had a background i was familiar with anatomy and physiology as well because i did that in second year of of nursing so that's why I was like, let me start with those two because um, at least I've got some background. With molecular medicine, it was really my first time doing it. So I was like, I will leave it to do it last so that when I go and write the test, it's still fresh in my mind. And, you know, maybe I will still remember some things, most of the things. And to be honest with you, anatomy and physiology really consumed a lot of my time. I thought I would just do it fast, fast, but it wasn't the case. Like, yeah. So in such a way that I didn't get enough time to do my molecular medicine. So, yeah, I was just rushing through that. So um, on the day of the... Oh, I started... I think I started... Um, studying for webs around june end of june july and yeah um i guess it's because i was a full-time employee and i was also a, studying at uj and i had to study for work so it was quite hectic uh, but i i i needed to balance all those three parts of my life because they were all important my job was important it was my only source of income and i had to make sure that i get good marks at uj because that will count when they are actually selecting people for camp and what again i needed to pass it for them to still continue consider my application so yeah it was quite hectic it required a lot of dedication a lot of work 
yeah so on the day of the work, uh, I was working the night before. So nurses work night shifts as well. So I was working the night before the, the test. Uh, and that really didn't work in my favor. Um, and yeah, when I arrived at VETS that day, <laughs> yo, I saw a lot of people and I panicked even more. Like, I was like, okay. I'm no more gonna gonna get this because I was thinking of my molecular medicine that I didn't study enough, and here I see like thousands of people who also competing for the same sports, and I was like, I'm no more gonna get in. Let me just write the test and feel how they set questions before. I will try again the following year, you know. So we sat and wrote those three papers. And yeah, I found anatomy and physiology to be fair. I think it's because I managed to cover a lot of work there. And, and molecular medicine was quite really hard for me. <laughs> In such a way that after the test, I thought I failed the word because you need to pass all three papers. If you pass two and failed one, you failed the overall test. So when I got an email to say I've passed the word, I was so happy. I couldn't believe it. And yeah, and I continued with my final year at UJ, submitted my results at the end of the year. And yeah, the waiting game began and that was the most difficult phase of everything. I that phase like nearly killed me guys. <laughs> um yeah, I waited the whole of November of December, sorry, because I submitted my results in December, early December. So I waited for the response the whole of December. So I didn't enjoy my holidays at all. Uh, in January, that's when I got the response. I remember it was the 6th of January. And I was so happy to get accepted. I couldn't believe it because, you know, after December holidays with nothing, with no response, I was like, okay, I'm not in, it's fine. I'll try again the following year. So guys, if you don't get resp a response in November, December, don't lose hope. You might still get accepted in, in January. I know a few people also got accepted in January, so don't lose hope. And there are also people who get early offers. So yeah, our journey really, we really have different journeys towards this uh, camp program. So yeah, um... My message to future campers, especially if you did nursing, uh, you can apply. If you did nursing and you want to be a doctor, you need to have a degree in nursing, um, not a diploma. And if you did nursing and you still don't have physics and chemistry at the university level, you can still do that. Uh, I know vets have um, vets plus uh, that you can still do. Uh, your chemistry and physics part-time so you can just um, research that on internet or maybe get an email that you can inquire more information about and yeah so good luck and study hard i know sometimes it's difficult and it sounds very cliche everybody's saying study hard study hard study hard but you really, really need to work hard um, if you want whatever you want. And yeah, sometimes life can fight you. But the key thing, I think, is just to fight back and make sure that you succeed. All right. Thank you so much for listening. And I wish you good luck. Bye-bye. Our greatest glory is never in falling, but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these.
Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated.